Well, today on Nation, a window cleaners podcast, we are talking about getting ready. You have to get ready for what's coming, and there's a few things to talk about. So if you got some time, hang out, and stay tuned for WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What's up? It's that first time here. Have a look around. We got six years of content, and it is uh, window cleaning and pressure washing all related on the business side. And today, we're talking about how to get ready. And I don't want to fear monger about anything ever, but I do like to be prepared. So we need to get prepared. Some things are coming and happening in the economy and the time and the weather and the seasons and all that stuff that we have to get ready for. And uh, more new people than not, they don't really know what's coming, how to prepare for all of that. And if you've been doing this for a long time, maybe last year things went different. Uh, Maybe three years ago things were different. Maybe you went through COVID and all that stuff. Some things are happening that we need to prepare for in general, and that's what I want to talk about. I got to say, to start, I don't want to scare anybody about anything. That's not my thing, but I like to be prepared. I like to just at least keep it in my head so that I can do little things so that if something happens, then we're kind of covered. And I have to say, to start off, I am not ever into politics or religion or any of that stuff. You guys know that if you've watched, listened to the show. Um, But... With everything that's coming on, you have to understand that as a business owner, you have to see things a certain way. And uh, I'm just some dummy, so whatever. But in politics and everything else, I mean, from the um, presidential side of things to creating an economy to world events and news and we have to see things a little bit different and if you're not into that stuff it's totally cool like you don't have to get really into it if you don't want to all you have to do is keep your finger on the pulse you have to understand what it is that could be happening or 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 could affect you and this is an interesting thing this is years ago but i had somebody who was um really strong on one side of the politics thing and it didn't make sense to me because they were a business owner They were on the side that just, in this particular election, this is a long, long time ago, they were voting for a side that was going to make their life just so much harder as a business owner. And I think sometimes people get caught up in just like the world of like, hey, this is what the the cool narrative is. Instead of the narrative that you are a business owner, things affect you differently, right? If the economy changes say we do go into a big recession depression change how does that affect you versus somebody else right like um people still have jobs for the most part even in a down economy depending on the job most jobs still handle they start to cut the back a little bit but but in your world an economy change can change your customers hiring you like on a scale that doesn't happen with anybody else unless you own a business, right? So there's certain things you have to kind of look at and follow a little bit differently than everybody else. If politics are boring to you, if world events are boring to you, if economy is boring to you, I totally get it. But do a little due diligence every now and then just to kind of keep on top of it. And I got to say, the first thing we're getting ready for is the slowdown. The slowdown for us just happens seasonally, right? If you're new in business, month ago, two months ago, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm making so much money. This is phenomenal. And it was. But now you're realizing that we are squirrels and we only can get it when we can for the times that we don't. And preparing for winter happens to be one of those things. But because we're so seasonal, there's a big difference between um, between what we would do for in winter or prepping for winter or the same for spring, right? So if you're in spring, you do different things than when you're prepping for spring. Well, we're not in winter. We got time. Actually, we have the second best season of the year happening, which is fall. That's when I'm recording this. And that's happening right now. So 
A few things to prep into getting into this slower time is I got to start by just saying like, push your add-ons right now. Push your add-ons hard. Get those services in and done for people who need them done. Like if you're doing a house wash, really get them to want to do the windows also. If they're doing all of that, hey, we're getting to that point where we need to get your gutters scheduled, right? Pushing those add-ons helps you be a squirrel, get a really, really strong fall, which carries you through the winter time. The more you can get in, the higher the ticket price, the more profits you make and all that stuff right now can really, really help. Um, add-ons are one of those things that people tend to forget. They just look for the next customer and the next customer. Remember, I always, always, always talk about um, when you have a customer base, they already trust you, they already like you. It's so much more important to focus on your existing customers than new ones. We always need new ones, but we always need to focus on the existing ones because they're the ones that have already proven they're giving us money. Sometimes we lose that sight and we're just too, too, to uh, chasing the new the new customer, which is awesome, it's exciting, it's. But I can double a business by not getting any new customers, just doubling the amount that the others are paying, right? So don't ever lose sight of that. Add-ons are one of those things. Prepping add-ons for calendar is really really important right now. Um, gutters, you are putting them in right now. Uh, if you're doing Christmas lights, you have to schedule them now because it's coming up. All of these things are all based on the calendar, right? When it freezes, you're not doing gutters unless you have steamers or something else that you're doing. So you want to push things now to schedule things as far out as you can. Another big piece to that uh, add-ons is getting people in the books, like getting people uh, booked in and um, making sure that they are... Um, uh, not going to miss out, right? Making sure that people understand those guarantees right now, seven day rain guarantee keeps people booked, right? Getting everybody in and done as much as possible, filling those days really, really tight is super important right now. And a few of the things that I always talk about too in, in that side is filling a float board. If you don't know what a float board is, uh, it is a whiteboard that is just jobs that nobody has to be there. So gutter cleaning, uh, exteriors only, anything that you can do without somebody having to be there, right? If you got concrete jobs for cleaning, the way that that works is that any gaps you have, fill it with a float board, right? How long does a gutter job take? Standard house, hour, right? If you have any gaps, so somebody gets done early or um, somebody gets moved or pushed or whatever, Fill it with as much work as possible. So hit your float board really, really hard. Float board is an amazing idea that costs you like $19 to go get a whiteboard if you don't have one. I have them all over my office. I got a big four footer there, big four footer there. I got a little one there. I got a small one there. I got a calendar whiteboard there. Whiteboard, put it all there. Have it so that you can fill that space and know that right now, your biggest goal is, we'll say, because there's no date, but say December 15th is the day that winter hits and call stop. There's not a day, I know. But your job is to get as much in right now until then so that it carries you through the winter. And I know spring was hard and I know it was a weird season and I know things are slowing down now but all of those things have to happen now to get you the most big push at the end, right? Hard push to the end, sprint to the finish. That's where we're at right now is we're prepping for that. Remember when December 16th happens, no one's calling. You can't put ads out. No one calls you on the 16th if no one wants to hire you. Like there's a certain time where ads don't really work very well. The ROI drops down. It just doesn't make sense to spend money on ads, blah, blah, blah. But right now, people could want it. Right now, people are prepping in their minds also. So doing all of that, getting as much as possible right now is going to help you through winter. And remember, not to kind of get off track here, but winter is our rebuild season. Winter is the time of year that we have everything we have to get done so that we can start next year and be incredibly busy and not have time to do, you know, website stuff and posts and 
all the other stuff that blows your company out of the water or pushes you ahead, you can do that when you're slow, right? Our job is to get all of that stuff done when it is slow, but in order to do that, Remember, pre-spring, we get ads ready, we get EDDM printed, we spend so much money before we're making money in anticipation for when it's hot. You want to do that now and you want to bankroll. You want to bankroll all of that, as many customers as you possibly can, getting them in right now. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to touch on the dentist clothes again. If you don't know what that is, it's just a dumb term I came up with, but um, it's when you go to the dentist, you never think twice when you have another appointment. It just happens. Every dentist in the entire country, they've made this a norm. You leave, they go, okay, great, I got the appointment, here you go. And you're like, cool. And psychologically, you're okay with it. You're like, yeah, yeah this is, just happens. I've never ever been, nobody's been like, what? You, you scheduled another appointment for me? How dare you, money greedy, right? Nobody thinks that. So the dentist closes basically this. Every person that you get in the books and do, when they're the happiest they possibly can be, you're walking around with them, job's done, hey, everything looks, oh my gosh, I can't believe it looks so nice, oh, it's so good. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I just really appreciate the opportunity, you know, blah, blah, blah. So now for the next one, uh, I didn't know if you wanted to do uh, three months from now, which would put you to whatever the date in my quick match, January 7th, or did you want to wait full six months, which will get you into spring, uh, should be about May 17th. Does that work better for you? I didn't say yes or no. I'm confident, just like the dentist. They're, I'm going to leave with a close. I'm going to leave with another appointment. Oh, great. Well, you know, I don't think we need it every three months. Maybe I'll call for some touch-ups in between, but let's just do the six months. Awesome. We'll get you in the books. You know, we fill up super quick. We'll put you in. We'll call you the week of just to remind you, but I'm going to have you in for the 17th at blah. And here it is. Put it in. Just put it in. Let them make the decision. They're going to be the ones that um, make the decision to do it, but also make the decision to um, that that it is okay to do. The big thing why it's called a dentist close, by the way, is just because people, they have a very big kind of um, issue with rescheduling appointments. Like, oh, I don't, I mean, I've even had people go, well, I don't, I don't talk to any, I don't talk to anybody. Uh, I don't, I don't call them. I don't bother them. I don't do anything. They, they just, they put it all out there and they go, well, I'll just wait for them to call me. Well, that's okay to wait for them to call you, but you don't control your business now. You're just like buckled in and say, well, let's, let's hope this happens, right? That's the big, big problem. You have to control the situation. And that's where the dentist close is. The dentist close is getting you prepared for the next season. It is going to be so much easier to book them than to call them next year and go, hey, it's spring, let's book, right? I've taken all that out there they're never happier than they are right this second because they just got everything done. It looks amazing. That That's the big, big, big thing, right? Your big piece to all this is prepping. Prep, prep, prep. It's all about the prep and it's all about where it's going, all right? We got to get ready. That's one of the things. Uh, by the way, I'm going to jump off for a quick second. I am a rep for windowcleaner.com and you know I have to do a shameless plug every time um, but yes, I am a rep and I want to be your rep. I want to put in your order. And it's as absolutely simple as clicking save this cart when you're in checkout. And then just text me at 862-312-2026. By the way, my number is posted everywhere. If you ever have questions, you'll find it. It's even on the WCR site. All you have to do then is text me and be like, yo, Jersey, my cart is good. And I can see it because you click save this cart. I can put it in. Uh, I can make sure the card is on file and verify your address, and I can place an order, checking fitment, checking everything, and it costs you nothing extra to have a rep. Now, people are like, well, I can do this online. You can, but you also then have access to me and questions anytime you have. Text me questions, call me, send me pictures. What about this? What about this? It's really nice to have a rep in your back pocket, and I want to be that rep. So shameless plug, that's it. Call me, put my, uh, let me put your orders in. That's how I get credit, by the way. If I get people almost daily be like, do you have a Patreon? How can I? No, none of that. All you have to do is just let me be a rep. I want to put your orders in. That's how I make my cheddar. Cost you nothing extra. Virtual high five. And 
it makes you one of the cool kids. So you want to be one of the cool kids. Uh, by the way, also check out uh, awcmag.com. The American Window Cleaner Magazine is amazing. Um, it is a magazine, paper, real, not like you got to look at it online only. It's shipped to your house with every uh, issue comes with sticker sheet. It's every single month. It's got articles for business, articles that make you better, new gear, products, pictures, posters. It's awesome. Go to awcmag.com to get the subscription. Um, and by the way, follow me on uh, YouTube. I got a, my own YouTube channel. It's Jersey underscore Nation. I'm trying to get subscribers there. And one other thing I wanted to touch on, I'm not going to go into who it was, but we did have a window cleaner in the industry um, pass away. And uh, it brought up to light the, um, the window cleaners relief fund that, uh, um, that exists. And the uh, window cleaner relief fund is a fund that... Um, was set up to help window cleaners when they are having struggles or if they're having uh, illnesses or unfortunately in this case a death. So if you didn't know that existed, um, it is a uh, pretty awesome um, thing that's set up. Uh, it was started with $10,000 in that pool. Uh, it's helped a ton of people get back on their feet. Uh, right now the current balance is down to 4,000 and we're just gonna keep adding money into that. So anyway. Side note for that. But it's Window Cleaners Relief Fund. It's just something really interesting. And go find the GoFundMe. It's on Pro Window Cleaning Group right now in Facebook. If you do decide you want to uh, throw some money their way and, and help out. So, um, yeah. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. Getting into everything and preparing is really big. But not just having the preparedness for work. Preparedness? Pretty sure is a word. But uh, not just the season, um, but the amount of work you're going to be doing this winter. And what's always really funny to me is, and I'm very guilty of it too, but hindsight is 2020. But it's how many times that people either, I have no work right now, I want to advertise, it's too late. I have, um, I want to redo my website, but it's the middle of winter, I can't take pictures, it's too late now, Right. So one of the things that I always say that you need to push really, really hard with is getting your B-roll. Getting those pictures on every job site, every time you're at a customer's house taking a picture of you squeegeeing or up on a ladder or your trucks or your guys smile, just any type of photo. And it sounds ridiculous, and I, I know that it sounds ridiculous, but B-roll, meaning footage that isn't like the focus of anything, right? B-roll is so important because it's what you put on your Facebook groups, it's what you put on your pages, it's what you make posts with, it's what you can use as media, and if it's always new pictures, it's always going to index really, really well. It's a secret for SEO and everything else also. If you always have new content, the guys that have uh, Facebook pages or websites or anything else that have pictures that are loaded like daily, like if you really want your Google Places to be phenomenal, post um, pictures daily. As much new content as you possibly can. The internet is always working to find things that are relevant. If you always have new content, it means you care. It means that people like what you're doing. It means that there's always something to look at. It's not stale. It's not old. If you just built a website two years ago and didn't do anything, the crawlers have seen that a ton, 10 times. They're not going to re-index it. They're just like, yep, nothing's happened. Nothing's happened. I don't know. Maybe they went out of business. But if you have new stuff all the time, that is how it indexes. And I'm telling you, B-roll right now is easy because you're out in the field. But it also is coming up to season. You're going to be using a lot of B-roll, putting that stuff out there, getting your ads ready, um, building out your promotions, getting your 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 Facebook ads ready, your EDDMs, your, your posts, your everything you're going to be doing hard this winter preparing has to be done now as far as pictures media captured so that you have it to use make a folder use a, a external drive and just take every picture and video clip and so much content so high res smooth calm you can take pictures out of it even if you're not a video editor photos in general there are so many programs out there that you can edit with that B-roll and just having that content gives you something to do. If you don't take any of the stuff now, 
It can't be the middle of winter and then you jump on a window and quick take some pictures because then it's winter. It doesn't look like you're cleaning windows. And people miss that. People miss it because so many people right now are worried about making sure they have enough jobs, enough money, right? You're, you're looking at like, I got to go do all of it. But they forget the long term. The short term is so much easier to see. The short term is what's right in front of you. Right now, how much work's on the schedule today? How much schedule's on the work that, uh, schedule this week, right? It's very hard for us to go, okay, January. What are we doing in January, right? It's very hard to see that because it's not right in front of you. It's like when you are driving and your GPS says that, you know, two hours into your trip, you're going to hit traffic. Well, you're not really worried about that right now because you're worried about is there traffic in front of you. We'll get there when we get there, right? But if there's traffic, if you knew soon enough, you could detour. Well, there's traffic here, so I'll just take this road and then I'll miss all the traffic. The same concept comes into what we do in business because it's an ongoing. So many people are looking at the right now and that's all they see. It's the, I don't even talk about door knockers. I I am not a fan. If you are, that's totally awesome. Like it's your company, but door knocking is like a right now. Like I want to get a job so I can do it tomorrow. Cool. But they're not going to hire you again. I mean, not on the rate that makes sense, right? It's just not a great, uh, it's not a great experience for them. It's just, anyway, I don't like it. But people go, well, I could get a customer right now. It's so good. You're so dumb because it's so good. All right. I'm looking at the long term. The long term is your business. If I can do, say I do dentist clothes. Everybody I know that can do the dentist clothes, that's confident, is at like 90, we'll say 80 to 90 percent. 80 to 90 percent. And I know people that are 100 percent. Everybody that they do is every six months. If you don't think it works, it's absolutely ludicrous if you don't, don't try it. But those people are building a company because now every customer who booked six months is in there will always book six months because it's in their brain. This is how we do it. This is great. Boom, this is done. And now I'm going to go into January already having $50,000, $100,000 on the books because of the other jobs that I've now put in there. A lot of you are going to go into winter, January 1st, have nothing on the books. That means you have to work incredibly hard to get all that, right? So that's the difference between a now and an in the future. If I plan the future and I strengthen the future, that means when I get there, it'll be my now. May 1st, March 1st, April 1st, we'll pick a date, doesn't matter. We'll say March 1st. I can schedule all of my six month people starting March 1st. That means the last day of February, no matter what's going on through the winter, March 1st, is the start. I have stuff on the books. Now, on March 1st, that is my now, not my future, right? So when we talk about the stuff and B-roll and planning is you have to think about where you're going to be able to push and to get ready for that, right? Seasons change, things will slow down, we know that. Here's another piece. I'm not, I'm not scaring anybody, I'm just saying. We're looking at some of the writing on the board, on the, on the wall, we'll say. What happens if the economy decides to change? Now, we know that will affect us somehow. We know that our customers are, most of them, in a tier that they're not as affected. The middle class people will be more affected. The lower class people will, of course, you know, not have much change, but are also not your customer. So we know the change is going to happen. So how do we see that in the future and plan for that or at least be ready for that? And that's part of all of this that we're talking about is we're getting all that in there. The six month thing means that in six months, that economy, anything that happens in the economy, I already got the stuff booked. Could somebody like cancel? Sure. But they're already booked. So a lot of them won't. Now, if I call them, and then, you know, I call and go, hey, I'm calling to see if you want to be on the schedule. And the, the stock market just did something. Or there's some uncertainty. 
or some kind of war stuff happens and people get little, uh, well now you're dealing with the now. Now I'm going, okay, well, if I'm gonna call you then, I'm stuck uh, with what is happening at the time instead of controlling the situation. And that's what we're talking about, getting ready to control the situation. And I gotta say one other thing, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this and uh, take it with a grain of salt because I do sales, so people are like, oh, anytime I talk about gear, this is one of the things. But let me say this, and you tell me what, what you think on this. By the way, if you ever wanna comment, uh, go to uh, YouTube, comment, uh, Facebook, text me, whatever. I love the conversations. But um, right now is the best time to buy new equipment, to upgrade all of your equipment. People go, well, why is that, like, why? That doesn't make sense. You're a salesman, you're just, okay, let me explain. So right now, we're going into or finishing our strong fall season, which means we have some cash flow to get something and invest in something before we lock everything down. In the second week of December, people wait and they buy everything then because of the tax deduction. In this year, your tax deductions are anything that you buy, obviously, for the business. Now, I'm not a CPA. Take that with a grain of salt. Talk to your accountant, blah, 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 cover my butt. But... Now is the time that you can get it and use the equipment, update everything, and be prepared with the deduction and still not have to go and try to like, oh, it's the second week of December, things have been really slow, I can't imagine spending the money. And then all of a sudden you miss the deduction and now you're waiting till spring, which is always a busy season also for purchasing, but you've missed the deduction, now it's in next year. Now's the time. There's also, as I'm recording this, the deal is gonna be down very soon, but there's something called an ultimate uh, water fed package, ultimate residential package we have. It's $620 off right now. Not only do you get the sale price, you get all of that gear and you're getting the deduction. So think about equipment just in general. And it doesn't even have to be window cleaning stuff from us. Remember, everything you do for your business is a deduction. If it's a new vehicle time, if it's a new wrap for your vehicle, if it's everything, people always, well, winter's coming. I don't want to buy new equipment now because winter's coming. Winter will always be coming. Like winter's always coming. Even if it's March, winter's coming. It will still come. Well, I'll get some use before. It's the same time period, right? The same time period, the same on equipment, say the 12-year warranty stuff on the zero stuff. The 12 years is 12 years, regardless if you start it in November, if you start it in October, if you start it in March. It's still all covered, right? So don't let that ever hinder you for the advancements in your company. I know this time of year, sometimes people lock down with like, I'm not buying a new vehicle till spring. I'm not. What is the market going to be? What are the vehicle prices going to be? Is it going to be easy to find a vehicle then? Like, why are you putting your purchasing? Why are you not in control of it? I'm a huge fan of being in control of it. If you can do something right now, going back to again, shameless plug, but say you are buying a water fed package right now. You know the sales going on. You know you'll have a deduction this year. You know where your jobs are right this second. You know where the economy is right this second. When people try to forecast things, they go, well, we'll see what happens. All you've done is you've taken, I know exactly what's happening right now in my business, in the economy, in my customers, in my taxes, in my, you know all of that right now and you're going, well, we'll see. Now, the economy, your customers, the business, everything is going to dictate what your decision is then. Why would you wait? Make the decision now because you know now. Now, when you get new equipment, you get a new vehicle, you get all of the wraps or whatever, that is your long term. But do that now. People lock down before they hit that point. Now, when you get into like December or even after, before the end of the year, then it's lockdown season, right? New equipment's always awesome if you have the cheddar, but if not and you think it's a hard year, that's where spring comes in. But right now is the time where you can actually control what you're doing and invest back in your company a little bit. And a lot of the times you're doing ads, you're doing everything, the push is happening now, but then you're also like, well, I gotta save all my money for winter, which is true, but you still have some income left this year that you're gonna be making before the, the slowdown happens. So just remember, short-term, long-term, Get ready for what's coming. Possible economy, possible political stuff, possible all of that stuff, right? 
All of that stuff's coming. But up until that point, you can control it. Control what you're ready for. If I have a a medical kit in my vehicle, it's not for something that happened to me now. I don't go, oh, I cut myself. I better go buy a medical kit. It's for if it does happen. Be prepared, be ready, and uh, take it all back. Take it all and uh, run with it. So anyway, that's my uh, my um, babbling for today. I appreciate you guys being here. Again, if it's your first time here, have a look around. Lots and lots and lots and lots of episodes. And uh, I am absolutely begging you <laughs> to let me be your rep. I want to be your rep. I want everybody to be your rep. Literally, it's... People are always like, oh, it's a little order, sorry. No, every order is absolutely awesome. I want them all. I want to be everybody's rep. I want to help as many companies as possible. That's why I do the show. I get paid when I put orders in, which makes me exist and be able to do more shows. So please, let me be your rep. 862-312-2026. Again, get the subscription to the magazine. We are all window cleaning nerds, and I want you to be the ultimate window cleaning nerd. So awcmag.com forward slash sub. Get the subscription. It's $69. Man, you can do that for the whole year, by the way. And uh, yeah, again, I'm really trying to boost my own YouTube stuff. So go subscribe. It's uh, Jersey underscore nation. I know it's going to take a couple minutes to like find that, but just Jersey underscore nation on YouTube. Find my channel and subscribe. It's free and it makes me feel good. Social vindication. Validation. There you go. Either way, until next week, uh, hopefully you're getting ready for what's coming. More importantly, hopefully you're going out there and being epic.